Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our FTB or action series. I am just copying all my settings for automating the Draconic Fusion stuff now. I have this kind of smushed in here, but yeah, whatever. It works, right? Uh... Yeah, I would definitely give a bit more room, but basically I have the recipe will go in here. Uh, it'll push into that chest. I think we probably need a blocking mode. I've never been great about automating this, to be honest. I've done it multiple different ways and filters and stuff, but um, I did two, one uh extract with a filter with a whitelist for the nether stars, and then that's the red, and then... There's actually another one underneath, which has a filter with a blacklist for another stars, and that's for everything else in there. Just to split this stuff up. Um, I figured that was easier than putting filters on each one of those. Now, I need, do need to make sure it looks like they all are... Yeah, single mode item. Um, I think we're good. I did change the recipe, or I... I made the recipe. I just stack the items. <laughs> is, you don't need to have them spread out like uh, shift clicking makes it. So four and four and then the one. So we should be should be good. There we go. All right, cool. This should have a thing in there. Yeah. Now I do need. That. Also, I haven't. Yeah, we're good. And there, that is that. Not super quick. I think it is limited by the the amount of power that we're giving it. Uh, can we? No, we have the highest tier conduits. Yeah. Uh, we, if we really wanted to, we could do like draconic power, but I really don't feel like getting into that. <laughs> Because that's just going to draw out the grind of materials that we need. So that is that. All right. Ta-da. <laughs> Awakened cores automated. All right. I did do a little... I wouldn't even call this automation. I basically just set up a chest and threw a whole bunch of the infinity eggs in there. But I think we are good now. Yeah. We got 64 blocks, we got 25 buckets of Molten Infinity. I think we are good. All right, so that, part one. Uh, we do have other things here. I should throw those in there. Where did it go, right there? Yeah, and the storage key is pretty easy. Uh, the artifacts are, those are gonna be, yeah, those will be on, yeah, in the, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? They're in the space station or whatever. So I'll just need to go grab those. I think I have them a chest up there, but uh, yeah, so we got that, we got that. We're working on the chaotic cores. Uh, ooh, fuel generator IV is actually easy-ish. I do need to get 16 of those. Uh, but neutronium blocks, as I remember last episode, I was like, oh no, I got to do TNT. I totally forgot that there is a recipe for that. Although we do need a lot of antimatter. So it's probably quick. I was like, is it really quicker <laughs> to be honest? Ah, I don't know what I just did. I hit T and did something. I mean, I guess I could do both. We need 32 blocks of that. So 288 ingots, 288 divided by four. I'm just figuring out how many buckets of, we do need 72 buckets of antimatter. I would have to automate that somehow. Um, I could do it with a pump. I think the RF tools pump I did look, there is a thing for automation. I don't remember where it is. I did look and they used a pump from RF tools to do it. 
Uh, but that is that. Uh, what else did I do? Yeah, I turned all this off. I was like, oh yeah, I can craft up. I don't need to have all this running in FPS. Um, I did finally get this hooked up. I was doing it manually for the longest time. And uh, I finally got it hooked up to the A system. Uh, so I have radon for these quantum stars. Um, but in the meantime, I should have four of those. Yes. I am going to craft up a IV mass fabricator. No, not that. I already have that. Platinum. Do smelt some of this. This just goes in a thing, right? Yeah. We'll just smelt most of this. All this from iridium. Processing all that iridium. All right. What did I need? I needed eight cables. Oh, I have four. Wire mill. Oop, I forgot to put down there. Man, I keep thinking that is something on my monitor. <laughs> Cracking me up every time I see it. Maybe I should move that away. Uh, platinum. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to craft up... I hate how you can't do directly to four. Uh, where are we? Silicon rubber. All right, there we go. Mass fabricator, IV. Uh, so, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? Um, obviously, it's going to have to go ish over here. Man, I have left myself no room in this base. It is hilariously cramped. All right, we could throw it over here. You know, why not make this even more cramped? So I think we'll do that. What's that for? Oh, that's the assembly line, of course. Which I think we're going to have to upgrade. Yeah, we're going to have to upgrade that somehow. Spoiler alert, probably going to be batteries. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I need that and... I'm just thinking, what do I want to put in it? I do, I am putting air. I don't think an air collector goes up that high. Oh wow, it does go up to IV. I wonder how much power this actually pulls. I guess it wouldn't be running continuously. All right, let me craft that one up. We'll be right back. All right, I got the air collector. Uh, I may craft up the replicator as well. It's a bit more complicated. Uh, it needs not that. Yeah, it needs emitters. It's only four emitters. I mean, I just crafted up 16 or something for those few. I should have enough everything. Right. I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a recipe for the, those osmium rods because I don't have room in the thing. All right. So we'll get that. I guess I didn't need to run all the way up there to do that. But, uh, all right, we got the air collector, atmosphere collector. Uh, I don't know. There's probably other ways to do this. Like, water would probably be easier, but I don't know. I thought it'd be fun to do that. That doesn't seem that all that fast, to be honest. That doesn't even seem any faster than... Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's quite a bit faster. Uh, so, all right, there we go. That is going to be producing that. All right, and then that's not running. So that's full. I don't I don't think it's pulling any power. Uh, but I do have to be careful because if I need 8 amps in the assembly line, we might have issues. I don't know, but we'll see. All right, so that is going to producing that. Now, I did say I kind of want to replicate this. Uh, 
Is that what I want to do? I think I, I think I do. And uh, like I said, I can just let this run. I can just let it run and uh, slowly get neutronium. Uh, I do remember. Remember in uh, there we go. What was it, uh, Greg Block? I remember I had like thirty-two. I think I had thirty-two mass fabricators producing neutronium. I think. I remember I went crazy with that, but uh, yeah, I guess this does take 5,000 seconds for one. That is the issue. Oh, it's 25,000 seconds. <laughs> it's even worse than I thought, uh, but actually, yeah, we're overclocked. I feel like that's going to take forever, actually. Oh, well, let's do one. There we go. Let's see how long that takes. Yep, that's going to take a long time. Uh, yeah, well, I'm crafting up a, a replicator anyway, so we will we'll chuck the... Um, how am I going to do this? I don't really want to move that stuff. I mean, there's not a ton, but... Still a pain to move. All right, that hasn't even gone up one. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yep, that's gonna take like 30 minutes to craft up one. Uh, the question is, how many do we need? I don't know. We're good here, we're good here, we're good here. All right, I need to get this all crafted up. Max, or that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a decent amount. Uh, and then, that's easy, but four, I'm assuming these all require, yeah. So 12 neutronium there, 20. Is that it? Because this doesn't require neutronium. Hmm. Maybe you only need 20 ingots. Maybe that's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. All right, but I do need to get... Lots of antimatter. Now I may, uh, we want to worry about, maybe I'll just go get two tanks worth of antimatter. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Uh, I do need life essence though. You know what, let's grab a drum. That would be easier. What did I say I needed? I think I said I needed 72 buckets. All right, well, I'm going to head to Aurelia. Uh, let me grab some life essence from somewhere over here. Grab a couple of things of life essence. And I think I have, there is some antimatter already up there. So we'll be back. And just really quick, I am basically putting a life essence bucket down next to antimatter, picking it up and throwing it in there. Like I said, probably could automate this with like a dropper or something. Um, but if we just need the 72 buckets, I mean, this is taking me like, eh, it's probably going to take me about 15 minutes to do this. But, uh, if we're going to need, like, hundreds of buckets, then, yeah, I would automate this. But uh, I think we just need the, the 72 for that. All right, is that? We got two more in there. And that. Uh, I did have eh, about 15 buckets. That was what it was in this hole. Uh, so I picked all that up. So that is why we have 56 buckets. So I had 24 buckets. Um, but now I am creating my own antimatter. There is... Yeah, there's the one. Um, funny stuff. It's just really weird. Very strange fluid. 
All right, we are back. That was relatively pain free. So, what did we need? Like 70. No, I needed quite a bit, didn't I? Didn't I say. What did I say? 188 or something like that. Oh, well, we'll just throw that in there and uh, let it work. I could even throw a thing on there. Not very fancy, but it does the trick. All right, so that will just slowly tick through that and give us the Tronium. I kind of wish there was a times nine recipe. Like you could do neutronium blocks. I don't think that is. Yeah, that's not a thing. I wish it would do like nine at once to give you a block. But anyway, there. I guess that would clash, wouldn't it? <laughs> that, that really wouldn't work. You can't have one and nine if it's the same thing. But I mean, I guess if you wanted to limit the antimatter or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh... So that is that. That's the Neutronium box for the next bit. All right, I guess uh, let me work on the Awakened Cores. Also, have we gotten a thing yet? We do. All right, well, we already have 7,000. <laughs> and uh, that wasn't that long, to be honest. So that is definitely much quicker. What are we up to on this? 38. Yeah, but uh, we're getting the emitters for, right? I did say craft up the emitters. Forgot to. I put the osmium rods in there, forgot to craft them up. Uh, so let's craft up the replicator. I will work on the awakened cores and let's get the chaos things crafted up. All right, I am. Just gonna place this replicator, get this going. I think I did move all the stuff over that is still going. <laughs> so I'll let that finish and then break it down. But uh, I did set this up here, transferred over the matter. So let's do that. All right, cool. And then we will just, I guess, place this right here, you know, right. Right in there, just all sorts of smushed in. <laughs> uh, I have not designed this base well at all. Um, but I'm going for cool design in my other playthrough, so this one is definitely just kind of smash it wherever it can go. No, I don't want that there. Is that what I want? What do I want? I guess like it doesn't doesn't really matter. I do kind of want it to go into the tanks and then into this thing, but does that really matter? Probably not. Um, I don't like that. Here, purple. It's easier to see. Brown, black, but kind of hard to see with the, uh, the thing, whereas, like, red is much easier. So, extract. And see, it's, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, especially on... YouTube, which has a tendency to show up darker than it is for me. Did I? Did I? No, purple. Correct, purple. Insert. Oh, it's going. I don't. It wasn't. It didn't seem to be going right at first. That kind of like <laughs> that confused me. All right. So yeah, basically it goes out into the tanks and then out into here. Uh, is that necessary? Probably not. But uh, yeah, that uh, five thousand each. That gives us. That actually gives us quite a lot of neutronium. So let's go get that going. Question is, do I want to? I could even pump it out into the A system. I don't know if I want to do that 
just in case. I don't want to. I don't want to um use all my matter. So eventually this will fill up. Like I said, I'm gonna keep an eye on it anyway. I don't I only think we need about 20. Uh, but I will double check. But it does seem like we're good. I know I was having some... I had way too much connected over there. So we were having some power issues. But over here it seems to be okay. Alright, so we're already up to 6%. Yep, that's going to take uh, not that long. So we'll be back. Alright, I am just finishing getting everything for this. Wake and Draconium, relatively easy-ish, but uh, I don't know how much more we're going to need. So I'm doing the, I want to do the Chaotic Force first. We are going to need, are we going to need more of that? No. No, we're not, yes we are. <laughs> Wait, no, that's what I'm crafting them for. Yeah. So, yeah, we need six more, six more Awakened Core. And, uh, yeah, it's always fun seeing these crazy complicated recipes. Just being able to click a button and there we go. Everything starts lighting up. Uh, there was a couple of things I don't have automated, like blaze powder. I just threw some blaze rods in there, the pulverizer. Um, what else didn't we have? Carbon. I had to throw some charcoal in the electrolyzer. Easy enough. Uh, I had to pulverize a bit of obsidian and my draconian ingots. There's a lot of like pulverizing. I just haven't done recipes. One, I'm kind of out of, <laughs> I'm kind of out of room on that. And uh, the way I've designed this isn't really the best for expanding. Unfortunately, I have. Re this is like we have maxed out the number of. <laughs> we've like maxed out the number of channels. So, uh, we could maybe do something, but then I would have to start breaking down all this stuff and yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't feel like worrying about that. So I was just, I had to throw a few things in the pulverizer, but other than that, um, I've slowly, uh, Ooh, that's a bit of an issue. I didn't realize we needed so many of those. Uh, I've slowly started improving the recipes. So these we now have with flasks, but that is two flasks each. I haven't really had this going that long. We do have eight. I don't know if that's enough for that. I may need to, uh, let's do this. Let's borrow this and we'll just smack that a few times. And speed it up a little bit. Uh, the problem is we only get we only get 50 millibuckets is the issue. All right, okay, I smacked it a few too many times, but as you know, we can speed stuff up as we need. But I think everything else we're good. I just heard the thing go. Yeah, we've already done <laughs> we've already done that five times or three times. Nice, that's going quicker than I thought. It looks like, oh, I have Enders. No, those are fine. I don't have a ton of unstable mana. Let's grab some more unstable mana. That is something I haven't, I automated it, but I haven't automated it into the assembler. Again, I could switch this to a volumetric one, change some recipes, but yeah. If we need, you know, it does. It took me what three seconds to just throw a whole bunch in there, and that last me like ten episodes. So it really doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so that and that, I think we're pretty much good. I did notice this thing down here is clogged up somehow. Something's clogging this up. Oh, I'm out of power over here. That's what it was. Uh, I guess we'll throw this on there. That will, uh, 
that'll get this going. Um, I did notice that we were really low on mincemeat, but I mean, we have tons of raw growth medium. Also, uh, that just reminded me of, was it over here? I totally don't remember why we had liquid antimatter in there, but apparently we had that for a reason. Where is the uh, stem cells? Where did we do those? Oh, that's right. Flux. I honestly don't remember where we make stem cells. I don't even remember what kind of a recipe. Isn't that a mixing recipe? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, advanced mixer two. Where are you? <laughs> is it this one? It's just, no. All right, we are out of something. I don't know what that was. Uh, that is, that's draconium, right? If I remember. Life essence we need in there. You let me, I'll just throw. I mean, that is something, we even have a flask on there. That is probably something I should actually change the recipe for, to be honest. Wait, I already have it. How did that not work? Something got screwed up there. I was like, I thought I had that. Hmm. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Maybe that's not even part of the recipe. I, I've done something wrong there. For sure. Oh well. Well, I thought I had something to fix, but I mean, everything seems to be kind of just working, right? Yeah. Rob carbon fibers. I feel like. Oh, I pulled that out. That's right. That's right. Uh, that. And I forgot to finish that. There we go. That's probably why you should have recipes for all this stuff. Then you don't have to worry about that. Um, I might need to throw some more epoxy in there, too. All right. Well, we're going to let this craft up, and uh, we'll come back if I run into anything... Anything too crazy, but really, we're just kind of waiting for this to smelt up. I should. One, I should have had this going earlier, but, you know, whatever. We'll just let it smelt, and uh, we'll come back. Okay, there we go. We are just crafting up the last of the Awakened cores. The longest bit was definitely the Radon, but I basically just stood here smacking it with a thing over and over again. And going to grab a whole bunch of batteries and uh, just uh, emptying out the batteries and then just replacing them over and over again uh, to speed that up. Now, we're going to need more. I'm just going to let this run and build up a bunch of radon. Um, I should have had that going earlier, but uh, that looks like that is the last, the last one over here. Also, we have 17 Neutronium Dust. Um, actually, let's let that finish. Uh, yeah, I just had that turned off because I was like, eh, I don't know if we need that much Neutronium. But I am going to throw that in here. Also, what was... What was that one for? I have no idea what... That transfer node is there. Maybe I was transferring something out of a chest or something. I don't. I don't remember what that one is for. But all right. So there is the awakened draconium. I can get rid of this stuff. There we go. So chaotic core four four. That is. Just realized that is quite a lot of. Born. <laughs> uh, Four, right? That's quite a lot of RF, I think. Um, I'm going to place this in one at a time, otherwise it's going to get clogged up. 
So that. That there. And it's going to get clogged up because I only have... I have nine things, but if I put the rest in there, then it would screw that up. All right. Well, that's going to take a hot minute. So we'll just let that run. Uh, yeah, it's only getting 20,000... I think it's only getting about 20,000 Dara or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but we'll just let that run. But in the meantime, I th think with that Neutronium... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, that's slow too. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Late game recipes, they're going to be slow. That's... We're not... I'm not surprised by this in the slightest. Where did I put that? I know I had an extra battery around here somewhere. For speeding. Oh, maybe it's the one I put down there. All right, let's just borrow one. Come on, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? All right, we made it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we will craft up this energy core because I got everything that goes with that. So I need Enderium. Wait, Resident Ender. Which one do we need? Resident Ender. Which is that? Also, I'll throw it in the... Uh, Throw it in there. We got that wyvern core, draconium ring, wyvern core. We needed the neutronium stuff. I don't think it needs to be a hull. The casing is fine. Oh, it does need to be a machine hull. No! <laughs> I think I have superconductor wires. I do. And I have polytetrafluoroethylene in one of these. Don't I? I'm pretty sure I have it in one of these. I don't have a lot of it. That's polyethylene. Oh, we're low on polyethylene. No, where is it? There it is. I knew I had it somewhere. Max. All. And just go ahead and throw this stuff in there. Now this recipe says you can do cluster or the orb. Cluster or the orb? Well, the cluster is eight of these, so why would you ever do that recipe? Thing is, got stuff in it. That goes in there. Or those carbon things. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. So we are crafting up yet another, this isn't technically a creative thing, but it is the energy core for, um, yeah, it's the energy core for the draconic uh, energy orb. Uh, I don't think we're going to be crafting one of these up. I don't really feel the need to if the base is running off Greg Tech power for the most part. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Yay, we got that. <laughs> Always feels kind of weird when you just throw it in the A system. Which, by the way, that's why I don't particularly like just filling out quests for filling out quests. Like, I don't want to fly around looking for these veins that I've never found to finish this. And, like, red granite, well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and just... Like, I have crystallized oil cell, and I have crystallized oil right over there, but I don't feel like taking out one thing of it, and then I would have nowhere else to put it back, and then I would just be stuck with the cell of it. So that is kind of why I don't really like just doing quests for the sake of doing quests. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about that one. We did get another creative reactor, but, uh... Yeah, look at that. We're down to the last thing, and we are we are closing in on it here for sure. 
I did want to get that because that is super easy. There is that. I think we got all the neutronium we need. Yeah, look at all that gorgeous neutronium. I will turn this into, oh, what am I doing? I can just do this. There we go. We are crafting that up. So we are down to the, the end here. Uh, we're crafting up the chaotic cores. I basically, the only thing we have left is the awaken core. And ironically, I think, uh, <laughs> I think radon's going to be our final kind of roadblock here. That is pretty funny. Actually that, um, this a chicken radon and rich eggs is going to be a block here so i gotta maybe throw some i'm probably going to throw some more i'm going to replace a bunch of these i think we don't even need this anymore um we have thousands of those dusts in the a system now yeah so we don't need that anymore uh but yeah i think one more episode of getting this and then we'll have our final episode which will just probably be do the creative storage and we'll do a quick kind of tour of the base not that it's all that exciting but you know yeah so two episodes left i think anyway that's gonna be it for this episode so thanks for watching and have a good one